Hillary Clinton's team spent the third day this week, and that's the third out of three days this week, trying to swat down questions about her family's foundation after the AP reported yesterday that more than half of Clinton's non-government meetings as Secretary of State were with donors. Over the past 24 hours, her team has pointed out that those 150 meetings were called from more than 17,000 sit-downs Clinton held with others and officials during her tenure, and that many on the AP list, such as Nobel Peace Prize winner Mohammed Yunus, were hardly Clinton cronies and were totally appropriate for her to be meeting with as Secretary of State. Still, Republicans kept up the pressure. Trump hit Clinton at his rally in Tampa, Florida this afternoon, and Sean Spicer, the GOP communications director, newly dispatched to working out of Trump Tower, suggested that the Democratic nominee has been hiding from reporters. Here's the, the interesting thing, Kate. For 263 days, Hillary Clinton has yet to face the press. If Instead of sending her spokesman out to defend her, why doesn't she face the press and talk about what the work that they've done, answer some of the questions? As it happens, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager, Robbie Mook, was asked about this very thing earlier in the day by our pal Nicole Wallace on Morning Joe. Why wouldn't you put her out there to answer questions that she can certainly handle if, if your defense is true? Well, we are. She is out there answering questions. She's going to like, a press conference she, today. She's done over 300 interviews this year, and, we're, and she she takes questions in a variety of formats. And we're gonna we're gonna keep looking at that. I guess my 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 pushback here is that nobody's asking Donald Trump uh, about his foreign connections. So I'm asking a question about why not do a press conference today as a strategy to help you eradicate the perception that there was anything shady that went down. We're considering everything every day. Uh, she has been answering questions. She's going to continue to do that. Um, I think all we would ask is that people don't cherry pick. The Politico has a story out that suggests that Clinton's basic strategy, as you see there with Robbie Mook, is to run out the clock and, quote, ride out this foundation controversy until the election because they have a comfortable lead. Alex, if that is truly the Clinton strategy, what they sometimes call the prevent defense or the four corners offense, depending on what uh, you like. The old four corners offense. Whether you like football or basketball, is that a smart approach? Um, I, at this moment in time, I do not think it is a smart approach, though it is also not surprising that this is their approach. This is, what they've, this is the playbook that they've been using for a long time, which is deny, deny, deny until it gets to a crisis point and then maybe deal with it even though that gives the crisis longer legs, uh, ultimately in the end, I think. Um, what's different about this time, I think, for the Clintons who have been in the public eye for so long, is the speed of media, and in this, with this candidate that she's running against in particular, the, the, the sort of changing weather patterns in the 2016 race. I think Clinton needs to come out and say something, anything, clarify to the public, and then move on, which is entirely possible. There may be, you know, three months left. That is plenty of time for another story to take the lead. Here's what I, I want to say a couple things, first of which is about this AP story. The Clinton campaign has been trying to systematically undermine it, and they've done a pretty good job. They pointed out real flaws in that story, that it only takes a part of her time as Secretary of State, that it overlooks a lot of other meetings. But even if you just take the evidence as presented, it still, to my mind, is troubling. And I'm in the camp of people who thinks that even if there's no quid pro quo, the notion that there's like a fast track of access, if you write a check to the Clinton Foundation, that you can then get easy access through the foundation, through Huma Abedin, you can get into see Hillary Clinton quicker because you wrote a check to the Clinton Foundation. Just the access point, I think, is a problem. I, I also think that people are going to start to point to the speaking fees and the donors who got the access, and then did they get write a check to Bill Clinton to give a speech overseas? There are connections of that kind. I think she needs to do a press conference. I think she needs to do a press conference soon, in general. And I think when she does this press conference, she'd be really smart to just come out and say, you know what? We're talking about shutting this foundation down if I'm president. We're going to shut it down today and put the whole thing behind her.